Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by James from MySmarterHome.com. In this video I'm going to be looking at Zapier versus IFTTT. Although IFTTT or if then, if that, then this might be the most well-known website and app for task automation, there are others. And in this video, I want to compare Zapier and IFTTT. But first, a quick introduction to what Zapier and IFTTT can do. Both of these products connect apps and services together so that they respond to each other. Let me give you an example. You would like to back up every photo that you are tagged in Facebook. Both Zapier and IFTTT will allow you to connect your Facebook account to your Dropbox account. Now every time that you are tagged in a Facebook photo it will automatically be saved in your Dropbox account with no extra work from you. Obviously this is only one example of an automation that Zapier and IFTTT can provide. The possibilities are almost endless. I want to compare IFTTT and Zapier using seven different criteria. Firstly, apps and devices. Does Zapier and IFTTT work with apps or devices or both? Zapier only works with apps, it doesn't work with smart devices, whereas IFTTT works with apps and devices. So the end of round one goes to the winner is IFTTT. Number two, connections. How many connections does Zapier and IFTTT allow? Zapier, you can have unlimited connections, whereas IFTTT, you can only have two connections. Now, there is a recent update for IFTTT whereby you can have multiple connections, but these must be, these connections must actually be produced by the service providers themselves. So round two goes to Zapier. Three is cost. How much does Zapier and IFTT cost to use? So here we go. Zapier has three levels of costings. The first level is free. The next level is $20 and the final level is $250. The free level only allows you to connect two apps together at a time. The $20 a month level allows you to, is, is aimed at uh, individuals and small businesses. And the $250 a month level is aimed at uh, teams of people who work in businesses. IFTT is free for, for everyone to use. So round three is going to go to if then, if that, then this. Number four, number of services. How many services or apps are Zapier and IFTTT compatible with? Zapier has 750 or over 750 compatible apps, whereas If That Then This has 360 plus apps or services that it's compatible with. So round four, the winner is Zapier. Five, examples of services. What are the most famous services that Zapier and IFTTT are compatible with? So both of them are compatible with some of the big things 
we've got Gmail, Google Docs, Facebook, Twitter, WordPress and Evernote. And if you want to have a look at if you want to have a look at the um, full list, then here's the address for Zapier, zapier.com slash app slash explore. And for IFTT, a full list of all the compatible services or apps is um, ifttt.com slash search. So round five is a tie between the two. Number six is access. Can Zapier and IFTT be controlled with a web app or a mobile app or both? Well, we can see here that Zapier can only be controlled via a web app. So that means you go on your browser and then you go into your online account and you control all your things, all your apps from there. And it doesn't have an app for any mobile devices. Whereas if that then this, you can control it via your web app um, from your browser or there are mobile apps for iOS devices and Android devices. So round six goes to if that then this. Number seven and the final um, comparison is target audience. Are Zapier and IFTT aimed at the home or the business user? And Zapier is very definitely um, aimed at the business community, whereas IFTT is aimed at the home user. So again, round seven, I think, is a draw. So I think the winner is, for me, looking at the whole, all of those seven different criterias, is if that, then this. So Zapier versus IFTT, which one would you choose? Thank you for watching.